So using your Cricut or Silhouette, you're going to go ahead and cut your design. And you'll weed away the parts of the image that you would normally keep. This will give you a negative effect and give you the image that you want to etch with. You'll want to be sure to weed carefully and to keep the inside part of your letters. I lay a towel down when I work with glass to keep it from rolling. And then I'll spray my glass with alcohol and clean it so that my vinyl can stick to a clean surface. Now I'm going to apply my transfer tape and I'm going to transfer the entire image onto the glass. I like to leave a little bit of room around the stencil when I cut to make sure that the glass etch does not get outside of the stencil. And now we're ready to apply the glass etching cream. For this project, I use Armor Etch. You can get this at any craft store. Now using a paintbrush or a sponge, you're just going to apply it, and I apply it super thick. In this case, you want more rather than less. Just be sure to keep it inside of your vinyl, and then once you have it painted on, the instructions on the back of the box say leave it on for 1-2 to two minutes, but I actually leave this on for 15 minutes. Then after 15 minutes has elapsed, I'm going to rinse it under running water. And you will want to wear gloves for this because it can be aggravating to your skin. And then once it is rinsed, I'm going to just dab away the excess water with a paper towel. Then I'll peel away the vinyl and our project is finished.